Well, there you go, eh? Driving around. Let's turn these wipers off. Driving around in the uh, Volkswagen Transporter. And this is the latest model. And very comfortable. Lovely, lovely seats. Really quite comfortable. We're, we're off road and it's pretty wet. And it, it does induce wheel spin pretty quickly because there's obviously a lack of wheel travel compared to a, what we would term a real four wheel drive. But the traction control is kicking in really well and getting us through. We've got the tyre pressures down a little bit. And it's going pretty good. Um, I'm down in low range. No, I'm not I'm down in first gear high range because there is no low range. I mean the M1. And that's manual shift first gear. And we will now, we will now go across our flooded, almost flooded, Rocky Riverbed. Now, we know that this is not deep because otherwise I wouldn't be recommending it right through flood waters. And I know there's a nice rocky place. And one thing I noticed with the transporter, it is a longer vehicle. So you really need to watch where your back wheels are going, which is what I'm doing there now. Especially when you're getting around a big rock like I was there. Or when you're on a tight fire trail and you're getting around trees on the edge of the track. You don't want to you know, accidentally take out the back of the car on, on a tree. And over the rocks here. Look, the suspension is good. Like it's firm, but it's not overly firm. You can see me moving around a bit there. The thing about low range, trying to find the point where you can just get the car moving when you're climbing like that. It's going to be a lot more gradual with your accelerator foot. And it's a whole new technique of driving. But down at the driver training centre, that's exactly what we teach you to do. And train you in that skill of picking the line when you're off-road, trying to get the smoothest part of the track under the vehicle all the time. And just being gentle with the accelerator and gentle with the brake when you're coming down the hills. Anyway, that's it mate. Pretty good little vehicle. We have a full camper set up, but a great outback tour that would be. You know, it's not going to climb mountains, but tell you what, it's going to go everywhere else.